Hello all and welcome to Propaholics DIY, where today we're going to be making the Dread Armor. So, first off we're going to start with the backplate. Now unfortunately the only real templates that I had were that first part of the video there where you saw them all kind of laid out on the board. But all in all it's not too hard to eye these out and to fix the patterns. They're very simple patterns to do. Now the materials that I used to actually make the armor consisted of just craft paper and foam mat. And once you all put them together and they were layered, they looked something like this. After that, I measured in a nice piece of foam that all the pieces could fit into. This will act as the big base holder for the whole back support. After they're all lined up, glue them on, and then we're good for this part for now. We're going to move on to the chest plates. Once again, I don't really have templates for these things, but feel free to screenshot, and I hope the screenshots work as some sort of a template that you can use. Now for the chest piece, you're going to do the same thing that you did with the back, with one added step of adding a little bit of a support for the little corner piece. Once it's all layered up, glue it together, and now we're moving on to the abdominals. It's ab day, people. <laughs> just kidding. So, the only difference between this piece is you really just have to fold the little corner so it kind of curves when you add the buckles. But other than that, same pieces, and then we just add them together. For the little square pieces, we're actually making six of them, three for each side of the abs. And once again, we're just going to layer these on top. The long piece gets glued to the blue part, and the little thin areas go around the outline of the long piece. And it kind of makes the indent that you see in the movie, and it looks cool. Okay, now we're going to take the little six square pieces that we cut out and attach them to the ab plate. Once you glue them on, the ab plate should look like this. And then altogether, the chest and the ab plate should both look like this. To put the pieces together, I used hot glue. Once I had all the pieces glued together, I add them to a pair of shoulder pads that I had laying around. You can buy these anywhere, you can really get them at thrift stores, you can find them literally anywhere. Super cheap. So, I secured the back on and it looked something like this, and then I secured the chest on. Realizing later that it was actually the wrong way around, so I kind of had to rip it off and finagle it back on. I attach the ab pieces together with these little straps, and then I attach the ab piece and the chest piece together with the same straps. I added an extra layer of the foam mat just to add a little more sturdiness to the abs. I really didn't want them bending or breaking. I then used black metallic puff paint around the entirety of the whole thing. I really like this stuff and I had an abundance of it, so it worked well. Once I added the black puff paint, everything started to come together. The whole thing started to look really cool. I then added the buckles, attaching the back to the abdominal pieces. Then I started working on the collar which we started with just a foam piece that I cut around kind of the shape of a collar. I then glued leather around it and just kind of started sticking cotton balls into it until it was sturdy enough. And lo and behold, it kind of worked. Now I didn't actually attach this piece to my costume, but I added to the costume whenever I put it on. It's kind of one of those things that you can just add. Now for the eagle on the arm, I just puff painted this. 
I literally just looked at designs that I saw online and just literally tried to eye it out. And I think at the end of the day, it looked really good. Same thing with the other arm. I just eyed it out and kind of did the same thing. And then on the insides of them, I just painted them with more gold puff paint. For the badge, you're gonna make three layers of the foam piece, followed by one really hard kind of cardstock at the bottom of it all. On the top piece, you're gonna draw the design of what everything's gonna kind of end up looking like. And this is gonna help you make your cuts and incisions where you need to. On another piece, you're gonna glue the cardstock to the bottom. That's gonna be your hard, you know, like solid base piece. I kind of modeled this whole thing after the prop one that you can buy online, but it ended up being way smaller than I initially thought. Once it's all together, your three layers should kind of look like this. Your top layer is gonna be all your big accent pieces, and then the bottom layers are gonna be kind of where you cut your little ridges and you're gonna, you know, have to morph it in a way. The middle piece where the nameplate is, just hollow that out to the bottom layer and then you can add your name piece. Now my name piece ended up kind of looking a little big. The letters were a little too thick, but overall it was good enough that I was fine with. I was happy with it. And once you added the chest piece, it looked something like this. I think it turned out really well, especially when it was painted gold, you know, it really added that extra oomph to it. Now the chest piece with the badge was the last thing that I added to the costume, but that was just because I needed to make the badge for it. And after the badge was added, my armor was complete. Will you be needing assistance? <laughs> 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 Don't move. Murder on my side is life and a nice year with you. I'll stay focused. I'm going to keep it too well for now. I swear. I swear. Yeah, I'm sure.